Yo, what's up? So episode four of Boba Fett was amazing. It was way better than episode three and it might actually be my favorite episode of the season. Now the first half of the episode wasn't very good in my opinion. It carried on with the same quality from episode three, which I was disappointed about. It left a bad taste in my mouth. But after the first half, it got so much better. We saw Boba Fett get his Slave One back. We saw him and Fennec take down the Sarlacc with the seismic bomb, which was crazy. The sound, the best sound in Star Wars. <laughs> fell down the back of the ship and it dropped in luckily. Before that we see the best shot in the whole episode, in fact the whole season, because you get to see Boba in his slave one take out the people who killed his Tuscan friends. It was this long shot of him just taking each one out as they're riding across the sand. It was sick, it was, it was mad. And that's actually one of the only times we've seen Boba actually just straight up kill someone in the show so far. And it wasn't even with his own hands, it was with his slave one, which is not bad at all, of course, we love the slave one. So it was good to see that. I know a lot of people wanted to see Black Chrysanthemum come back and we thought he would. Most people know he would. They won't bring him in just to let him go in one or two episodes, but we get to see him come back and join Boba Fett which we all wanted and we all thought was going to happen. But when he ran away in the last episode of the episode before that, we were all kind of like, okay, so he's just going to jog off into the into the desert. Came in for an episode, was meant to have a badass action scene, which was disappointing, and then just get kicked out of the show. So we knew he was going to come back. He's such a popular and badass character in Star Wars. So yeah, he comes back, joins Boba Fett, and has a fight with these Trandoshans in a cantina that Boba Fett has went into a couple times already during this series. And that was great to see, because as we know, Trandoshans and Wookiees do not get along. I've made a video on that already, like a, a minute video explaining that and why Bosk will be coming into this show, it's guaranteed. Especially now we've seen the end of this episode. And also in this episode, we finally get Boba inviting some people around his house because it's always empty. He has this meeting with different crime lords and he wants to team up with them to take down the pikes. At one point the meeting wasn't going well, but the Rancor put his hand through the floor to scare the, uh, the crime lords when they weren't agreeing with Boba or not teaming up with him. And of course, now we know that the Rancor is attached to Boba because they only defend the human, the first human they see. And of course, the Rancor saw Boba first. That's the first human they ever saw, so. So now we know that the Rancor is drawn to Boba and he'll be riding this Rancor, probably in the war that I'm about to get to. So at the end of the episode, Boba declares war to Fennec and Fennec says, we're gonna need big bodies and badasses to take down the pikes and go to war with us. So we know we're gonna get Bosk, Cad Bane most likely, you know, something between him and Boba has to happen. Um, of course, Black Santan's on their team. That's gonna be sick. Um, who else? Embo, you might see. Is that his name? Maybe, I don't know. He might be dead, I'm not sure. We could be seeing Dengar, could be seeing Luke Skywalker, Grogu, even Mace Windu, we could be seeing. You never know if they'll go that far. We could be seeing Cad Bane. You know, Cad Bane has to be in the show. Something between him and Boba has to happen. So I think a lot of bounty hunters are gonna come in on both sides and we're gonna see a great battle. Uh, we don't know who's gonna come in. We definitely know Mandalorian's gonna come in because we heard his score mixed in with Boba's after he declared war. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great couple of episodes coming up. The most entertaining ones are about to get really interesting. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. The next episode is gonna be great. And until then, thanks for watching. See you later.